Hey everyone, Dr. Alex here and we are live on Lunch and Learn TV. Today is June the 11th. I hope everyone had a great weekend, having a good day. And today we're gonna to be talking about how you can get better sleep, uh, the mindset that I think is required if you want to improve your sleep. And I'm gonna show you three of the products that I use uh, that I think really help me with my sleep and I would recommend to you. And of course they are not sponsored. They are just things that I think are useful and I'd like to share. So. It is so very common that we hear people in the practice that they don't sleep very well, that they're always tired, or that they're uh, struggling to you know, get to bed. And that's one of the biggest things that we hear is that they have trouble from the time we're like, oh, it's bedtime, to actually falling asleep. And so I wanna talk a little bit about the mindset first behind sleep that, that I use and I would recommend. So I treat sleep uh, and I respect it a great deal and I put a lot of value on it. And so as a result, it's a big priority. Uh, I've thought a lot about it and how to optimize and maximize my sleep. And so I think number one, if you want to sleep better, you too have to put a lot of priority and put a lot of value into it. And what that means is doing a lot of preparation to get the best sleep possible. So that means you know having a fairly regular sleep time. That means making sure that you are calming your body and mind down uh, before you go to bed and that you put a priority on it and that you have a scheduled time and not a lot else that cuts into it. So that if you really value your sleep and you want to sleep better, you probably don't want to plan a lot for the evening after work that might cut into that sleep time and that sleep prep time. And I really think it is very Pavlovian in that sense is that you can really trigger the mind with certain stimuli to get it ready for bed. And that's part of what that pre-bed routine is. It's getting the brain and the body into sleep mode, knowing that it's not time to get excited and go for a workout, that it's time to hit the sack, get tired, and to recover. And so this is a huge conversation for us with practice members because recovery or resetting the body each day is a core fundamental requirement to be healthy. You have to move well, you have to eat well, you have to think well, and then the body has to recover. And sleep is a big, big, big factor for that. And so everyone's gonna need, uh, hey Johnny, everyone's gonna need a different amount of sleep. You're gonna have to figure out what that is for you. Some people are gonna away with six hours, some people are gonna need nine, but that is for you to figure out. Now, for us, we've talked a lot about uh, what my sleep routine looks like. You can read about it in our Reset Curriculum, uh, which is that free ebook that uh, I will link to our Facebook page and our Facebook uh, account for this video. But you'll read about that sleep routine and everything that goes into it. But in terms of the actual sleep process, I use a couple of products that I think would be really, really valuable. And one of them's new and I'm loving. So uh, first and foremost, let's start with the basics. Number one, where are they? Oh, I can only find one of them. <laughs> number one is, well, that's not gonna be good for tonight. Okay, number one, earplugs. Really, really, really valuable. So I started using earplugs a few years ago and I think that they are fantastic for a couple reasons. If you live with a partner and they're a snore or they're just loud at night, they have to get them to the washroom, that's gonna minimize the effect of that. Number two, if you live downtown like I do, it's quite loud, there's always sirens, it's gonna be, sorry, it's gonna block that out as best as possible. And then number three, which I think is really, really valuable is that Pavlovian responsive. When the earplugs go in, the only time I ever use these guys is when it is sleep time and that I think is a really good signal to the brain that it's sleep time and that it's time to go through with that process. So I think earplugs are really valuable. Uh, you will not sleep through an alarm as long as it's loud enough. You will not, uh, miss a fire alarm. Don't sue me for that, but you probably won't miss a fire alarm. Uh, you know, they don't block out sound completely, but it's just enough to have a really fantastic effect where I think it's going to give your, uh, give you the best possible chance of sleeping. And something that I should have articulated was that when we talk about a sleep routine, we talk about anything that's in our uh, recovery or reset curriculum. All of this is meant to just give you the best possible chances of having a great night's sleep. Nothing's going to be a guarantee in that the same way there's no way you can guarantee your own health, but it's gonna put the odds in your favor, I think, if you do more of these things. Uh, number two, a product that I love and I've been using for a few years now is this guy. It is a Philips alarm clock light, and with the Philips alarm clock light, it is going to light up a few, no, 
30 minutes? 30 minutes before uh, you set your alarm. Now there's a couple reasons why I like this. Number one, I don't need to use my phone as an alarm and my phone's not gonna be disturbing me before bed. Uh, if you use your phone, stop, go buy a $5 alarm clock. It's just a better call. Leave your phone out of the room. You're not president, I was gonna say president Obama. You're not the president of the prime minister. The call that coming late at night is probably not that important. Leave it out of the room, get a good alarm clock. Now, I really like this, especially in the winter time, because in Canada, or if you live in the northern or farther southern hemisphere, the light is poor, and we know that the circadian rhythm of the body loves light to wake us up. And so this has been really fantastic for making mornings a little bit more bearable uh, to get up, especially in the winter time. Probably not gonna help one fall asleep directly, but if you can get your cell phone out of the room by having a good alarm clock and something you know that's going to wake you up, it is marvelous, very fantastic. And then the last thing that I've been using of late uh, is these guys. This is a really, really cool sleep mask that I saw advertised to me on Instagram, and it works. It's called Mantis Sleep. Uh, they were a little on the expensive side. I think it was about $40 Canadian. Uh, but what I like about them that's different than other sleep masks is they have these little pods here that fit around your eyes. And you can have your eyes open without your long eyelashes hitting the eye mask uh, with the thing on. And so for me, this is another, again, Pavlovian cue that when these go on, it's bedtime. It's going to pleasure... I guess it's gonna work with the circadian rhythm to make sure that that light and dark cycle is not being messed up, uh, especially if your blinds are not blackout. This is $40 blackout blinds instead of spending eight, 900 or whatever crazy amount they charge for blinds uh, to do for your room. So I'm loving these, I love them for travel. Uh, well, I probably will love them for travel, but uh, also really good to have a little nap at the office uh, and just absolutely fantastic and uh, they have a nice little vac Velcro, Velcro strap on the back so they don't fall off. Now, I really should get some sponsorship money from these guys, so Manta, if you see this, send some money my way. Uh, so those are the three products, guys, that I really, really like. Uh, I think they've made a big difference for my sleep. I hope they do for you. And uh, before we sign off, I just want to, uh, again, mention that reset curriculum where you can go and download that. That'll talk to you all about establishing a fantastic uh, sleep routine that I think will have a big effect for you. And, and the other thing is just making sure that you put a priority on your sleep. Uh, there's a difference between saying, I want to sleep better and I want to feel more energized and actually executing that value. If it's really, really important to you, uh, sorry, it's gonna be a little bit harsh and blunt. If it's important to you, you're just gonna do it. You're getting sick of being tired in the morning, not sleeping well. Uh, give yourself the best possible odds, the best chance of having a good sleep by using a pre-bed routine, maybe using some of these things, or at least giving them a try to give yourself the best odds of getting a sleep, a good sleep. And then, of course, you also need to make sure that there's not some sort of extrinsic factor that is stopping you, whether it's a bad pillow, a bad bed, or a bad spine that makes it uncomfortable for you to get the rest that you need to be as extraordinary and healthy and as happy as you can. That's all I got for today. I hope everyone found this valuable as always. If you guys have any questions, please send me a direct message on Instagram or on the Facebook. Uh, you can always email me as well if you have any personal, or sorry, any private health questions or you need a consultation with our, uh, with our office. Uh, otherwise, I hope guys you have an amazing Monday and I will see you next week for Lunch and Learn TV and uh, be sure to go download that uh, Reset Curriculum Guide from our Facebook page.